I'm bringing some of the wisest, successful, most inspirational human beings on this planet into your classrooms for your benefit. When everything was stacked against me, that's when I was at my best. You never know when the days could stop counting, that's when you make them count. You gotta shoot your shot. We all have the ability. I can do anything I put my mind to. And they took a leap of faith. These are the answers, the blueprints, I'm providing them to you. I have this heart that bleeds for the youth of this country. Because we, we need to learn to lead. We need to elevate ourselves. That's how this world changes. It starts with you. My name is Zachary Arena. <laughs> and my man hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> I've spoken to thousands of schools across the country, and it always amazes me to see the power of kids coming together, lifting each other up to create a positive environment. Today, I wanna to share with you one of those stories about this kid named Zachary and how his whole community came together and rallied behind him. Zach's always been a very positive kid. We've been friends since kinder, and I just help him at school. I feel more confident when I'm around him because he has so much confidence. Once you meet Zach, you just fall in love with him. He's so funny. He is just the epitome of, of spirit and kindness. Zach uh, got diagnosed in 2007 uh, with having an inoperable brain aneurysm. It was in the central, what they call the central station of the brain, which is where the information goes in and out. In 2008, they told us that they only gave him a year um, to live if that, um, because at any point the um, aneurysm could rupture and they wouldn't be able to go in and save him. It was either we come home and cry about it and feel sorry for our situation, or it was to come home and fight with everything that we had and turn it into something positive. At the very beginning when we first got the diagnosis and you know you don't know what to do, you don't know how to fix something that you that you can't fix. Um, when it's your own kid and you feel like is there something I could have done different and that there wasn't. I wanted to give him every opportunity that he could to do whatever he wanted to do. He's had over 67 surgeries. We're kind of at a place where they may not be able to do any more surgeries or any more treatments, but he wasn't supposed to make it past nine years old and we're 17 now, so. Seeing their struggle, one of Zach's doctors submitted his name to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Later that year, his wish came true. So he got his wish granted in, in 2010 so his wish was to ride a roller coaster and the Make-A-Wish Foundation stepped in and they sent our whole family to Florida. We came back from there feeling more positive, encouraged, and a little bit more strength knowing that we went a week without no doctor appointments. He was doing all the things that we never imagined he could ever do. The Make-A-Wish trip to Disney was such a positive experience for Zach and his family. When they found out about Macy's Believe campaign that raises money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Zach knew he wanted to give back to the organization that provided such incredible memories for him and his family. For every letter that was written to Santa, Macy's would donate a dollar to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I wanted to pay it forward to helping the kids get their wish granted so that we can all make a difference. English classes were writing letters, history classes were writing letters. Our principal decided to have a big pep rally uh, where Zach could be presented with all the letters. One of our teachers dresses up like Santa and drives Zach in on one of those big four-wheeler things and he gets to sit in the chair and the whole school is cheering and they just bring you know packages after packages of letters. And each year that he's done that, it's gotten more massive letters and massive letters. Our first campaign was 2,600 letters, and last year we collected 33,000 letters. This year alone, Zach was able to get his community to raise over $85,000. Zach is undeniably an inspiration for his classmates. 
he did the Make-A-Wish project. We watched a video about it and everyone cried and it was really cute and I think that I saw a big change after that about how we were treating each other and like reaching out and doing more impactful things and doing community stuff. Everyone's like comfortable with each other, kind of like liquid, I guess, just flowing past each other. Zach has had a long fight against his illness, but he has persevered and through that, he's touched lives all around him. My biggest fear was that he would get bullied because he walks different because he looks different, because sometimes he's having to be in a wheelchair. But every campus has embraced him, and for them to embrace him and accept him for who he is, it's been great. Hey, morning. Hey, good morning. Hello. Got the team here today. Tyvee High invited me to speak at their annual Unity Day. It was so exciting to meet these young leaders and learn more about their stories. Unity Day is a nationwide campaign to show your support for anti-bullying, being respectful of one another, kindness. I think a lot of people were skeptical at first. What is this? You know, oh, why are we doing this? And I think once they saw the magnitude of how beautiful that unity really is, I think that they really bought into the idea of, yes, we are separate, we're all unique, and we're all special, but we are TFND. We are a Tyvee Fight Never Dies. If you find a Tyvee Antler, you know, you found family. What's up, buddy? I'm hey. Kevin. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. How you a hug? Come on, bro. We're gonna have some fun times today, brother. Excited you're here, man. What's up, guys? And I want to elevate you guys. What you guys are doing with the Unity Project, what you guys are doing, I'm impressed. I want to raise that bar. Worst case, you guys get out of class for an hour, right? Yeah? yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Things I do for you. Best case, you guys walk out, I change your perspectives. That's what this is. I pray every single one of you guys can look in the mirror and love yourself right back, because that day is when you'll become a leader. You all raised your hand, you want to impact lives. That's what being a leader is. Put others before you, and I'm telling you, people will be attracted to you like a magnet. Everybody wants to be appreciated in life. We're so slow to appreciate others. So don't be too busy for each other. I'm not too busy for you. You guys matter. You're significant. Start acting like it. You're beautiful. Take that mask off and just rule this world. It's yours. Thank you guys so much for having me. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys at lunch. Thank you. I had a great morning with the students. They have so much spirit. Young kids, real leaders stepping up, taking action. That's what a leader does, they take action. And that's what Zach did. Step up and be the catalyst. Our kids are always looking for ways to do something and give back. It's just getting everybody involved. So there are 32 polls and each poll has an identifier like I'm a junior, so like, I have anxiety. Every student gets yarn, and they start in the middle pool, and then they just go out to the five that they identify with most, and so eventually all the strings will cross. The poll that says, I feel alone. I wish that every student who had put their string around there had people around them when they were putting their string around. If we would just reach out, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be alone. And so Zach and I, we did this together. It was really special. And you realize something, that these people you go to school day to day with, you might have different opinions about, they're human just like you and I. This way, brother. Good job, Zach. I love this thing. Hopefully the Unity Project, it isn't just a let's do it and it's over. I'm hoping that it continues into our discussion of how can we do something different. When you look at Zach and all that he does and how happy he is every day and what he does for others, you have to know that that's something that you need to get involved in. He represents not only that he's been a Make-A-Wish recipient, but he also represents Tyvee. This is where it all kind of just roots out from. You know, this whole unity thing, it, it just blows my mind how it does take everyone to work together to make it a success. He always has this saying that he says that as long as there's hope and there's faith, that he'll keep fighting. 
Take Zach's example. I mean, this doesn't happen out of nowhere. Someone has to take the first step. How can you motivate your classmates to change the way your school thinks and acts to each other?